Hello everyone, welcome back to Eltrix Plays Dead Souls. I am a glutton for punishment. It is the same day as the last very salty loss. Um, I am ready to try again. Don't at me. Here's my hot take for the week. There's nothing wrong with saying light. Yeah, I was halfway through that discussion and all I tried to do was derail it ever so briefly with a discussion about how it certainly seems to me like the uh, offensive prowess of your Dead Cells character is not uh, as well balanced. It's the whole game is not balanced towards offense, basically. Uh, clear, because as soon as I didn't have any defense left, I got royally owned, and I do have a certain thing to say about the concept of an enemy that can just drag you back uh, into the fray whenever it feels like you've gone too far away. Like, sure, maybe nerf the offensive power of dead cells in general, but if you're gonna do that, have you considered maybe not having enemies that mean that you have no defense against them? I I'm noticing this happens a lot, actually. Because I do not like the way that several enemies in several runs so far have managed to just end my run in a manner against which I have no defense. That is what I, I, it really gets me down because <laughs> it, it doesn't need to be that way. Uh, we have a good opportunity for another red and green run. And I'm actually going to start with green because it improves my bow, which I'm using reasonably often this time rather than never at all. Uh, and the powerful grenade with oil, this is just a balance blade, yeah. The powerful grenade with oil could be okay as a future, yeah, that's fire, we've got plenty of money. Could be okay as a future uh, synergy, yes, synergy, good work. And we will take this as well, even though it costs us the majority of the rest of our money. Um, I, I, I'm gonna say, the last run was not so bad. I'm simply going to say that because we unlocked something that we had not been previously able to get a hold of. Simply by producing a uh, an elite where there wasn't none before. So that seems decent to me. We're on 27. If we can kill three more. I've not even been paying attention to that, so I think I've done okay. Now that I've noticed it, quite clearly and very obviously, this is going to ruin my run immediately. So let's just be a little bit more careful. Sadist Stiletto. Yes. Actually better. I'm not going to roll through these doors just in case there's something on the other side of them I don't want to play with. Um. There's an um. To introduce my point on the word um. I was saying that the words um and er and things... I was watching one of those TED Talks was about how to be a good conversationalist. And I'm into that. Because I do have trouble cool, with... Um, why have I got this sort of float up arrow on everything, even though it's been some time since I uh, read a scroll? I don't know. We have 31. That's fine. What can get through the entire level without doing any damage at all? And also kill a lot of things. <laughs> Not like that, maybe. I don't suppose you have anything for me. No. That's fine. Um. The one of the main mm, points that she was making was that you have to listen in a conversation, or you are not doing your part. Lots of conversations are very much just two people saying the next thing that they want to say. You know. Uh, I'm tempted by this war spear. We are going red and... I want to keep my hunter's grenade, but I want to keep my oil grenades. <laughs> I think I'm going to swap out my... Um, my sword. I know I got it recently, but it was free. And it's not nearly as good in specific terms. You have to listen, okay? To people. Um, And... People, they don't. People tend to just say what they were next going to say and not really care too much about what the other person is trying to get across. So 
This happens a lot in interviews, if you see them on TV, for example. Um, the interviewer is so focused on the sort of the script that they have uh, right in front of them that they they have to attend to that, and they're not listening to what the person's saying. The only reason the person that they're interviewing is there is in order to get what they're saying on on camera or on tape, and they're you know, wow, that's pretty okay. Uh, and and just get it out to a wider audience. They want the sound bites, but they don't want to actually pay attention. So we, we end up with this situation where the interviewer will ask a question that has already been answered. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of quoting verbatim from the uh, TED talk here, but you know, it's not it's not mine to rephrase, I guess. Wow, nice. Hey, thank you for spawning and critting everything. Instead of... uh, it's not mine to rephrase, so I'm, I'm pulling it verbatim simply because if I tried to rephrase it, I would probably um, ruin it, <laughs> quite honestly. Is there a secret here? No. So I'm not going to. Instead, I'm just going to give you what I watched, which is that there are many conversational tricks and things. But the key one is, just pay attention. Did you see him? I didn't do that. The character did it out of his own accord. I'm okay with this war spirit, by the way. Not necessarily in terms of being good at it. I'm not saying I'm okay as a judgment of my skill. I'm saying I'm okay as a judgment of the war spirit. So if I could get them lined up, which is what I tried to do, and I get two of them at once. So... Conversation is sometimes uh, a, a discussion and sometimes it's a war <laughs> against two people, with two people against one another who very much would like to just say what they have to say. Just sort of. Because they like to hear the sound of their own voice. I mean, that's a, a common indictment against people who don't listen to the other side of a conversation is that you'd like the sound of your own voice. Which I think is a very good way of putting it, quite honestly. Nice. That's 30. Um. Um. So in this context, when I um and uh, it's because I want you to know that I... Uh, basically, I'm cognizant of the fact that I'm not saying anything. Or that I'm... I want you to be aware that I'm trying to, uh... Sort of reformat the discussion right now. Ah! I'm so mad. Why did you do that? I hate that that can happen. It's another thing that really gets me down. I got so far, and all that happens is there's an enemy that I couldn't reach for some reason. Why could I not reach the enemy? That's not fair. Nor could I get out the... If I could either have reached it or been somewhere else, then fine. But there was nowhere else for me to go. I, I, there was no escape from that situation. I didn't even have my grenade up in order to explode it when I realised it had missed. That was it. My only option was to use that one attack and it wasn't good enough. It happens all the time, and that's why I get so frustrated. The word um means I'm saying something else. I just haven't finished putting that thought together yet. The word like fulfills a similar but distinct role, which is why I think it's okay. The role that the word like fulfills is to say, I'm not sure if you're going to understand this, but this is the best I've got. So, it, it literally means like. It's not like it's... Well, it has, the other thing is, it does have a, a use when it's a real word as well. <laughs> there, there are cases when you can use the word like. I don't want a greed shield. Um, and it has meaning. There is a word like and it has meaning and the meaning is similar to, okay? But if you think about people who don't necessarily completely overuse the word like as a filler word, their use of it is usually, I'm struggling to express myself. And if you're struggling to express yourself, you're going to say something that basically means Does this make as much sense to you as it does to me? Oh, you stand up for this one. I see. But different weapons are differently usable. I mean, it makes sense. I've, I have no qualm with that. That, that is perfectly sensible that for something like the war spear, which is essentially a two-handed weapon, you have to stand up to use it. You can't do it from crouched. 
Whereas with the one-handed quick blades, the swords, much better. Ice bow. Better. Not nearly as good damage. No. I'm like, ah. I'm assuming this one would just sell for more, right? I would like to. Also, the ice bow is completely purple, whereas the bow that I do have is working with the the, the, the numbers that I'm taking. Also, also, my war spear is a survival thing as well. I'm, I'm happy with that because I basically don't need to take anything else. The only reason I might take red now is because I have one red mutation. Uh, I've got a better one. It's actually exactly the same. Except I can upgrade it. I can't sell that one. Fair enough. Fair enough. So the word like has a use in conversation. I admit some people tend to take it a little bit too far. Um, and... That is, I guess, essentially their prerogative. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? You know, you can't, um, you can't police the way people speak. That was, that was just terrible. See, sometimes I'm fully aware when I've done it wrong. Okay, what I complain about is when I don't think there was a way of doing it right. Like, many times do I find there's no way of doing it right, and, and it's upsetting. So anyway, I, I. This is all kind of part of my self-improvement bent. Everyone gets a self-improvement bent just after New Year's, but sometimes we don't actually take the opportunity to think about what needs improving, right? Um, maybe you consider that saying like too much is uh, an unimprovement that needs rectifying. What does that mean? Are you one of those ones that's attacking? Hey! Use attacking, use shielding, yes. You're shielding a, an item that I may not want. I think I might do that. Thanks for getting out of the way, so I have to kill this thing the old-fashioned way. Die. Oh, you're also shielded because of the item. Fair enough, fair enough. Have this, then. Nerves of Steel, too legendary. Inflicts a critical hit, colorless. I mean, it's much better, and I am, I'm okay at the, the seal timing, I think. Famous last words. I was ready for that. <laughs> I'm trying that. Please stay up there, fine. Uh, I think self many people consider, so get off the screen. Consider self-improvement to almost of necessity be um, a physical thing. I.e. you try and get fit. You know, you try and get healthy. Remember when fit was a word to me and attractive? Was that part, was that like in your vernacular when you grew up? Because when I was a kid, fit was like the, uh, the disrespectful word that boys use to talk about girls. And quite disrespectful it is if you are an adult and you know about those sorts of things, but... It's very difficult to maintain uh, sort of cognizance, maintain it in the forefront of your mind that when you grow up, you don't really grow up with any sort of care or, or concern for other people. You basically couldn't care less, right? Um, but as you do grow up, hopefully, Al, you start... God, I have to count. I can't count and talk at the same time. Same team, same time. Ah, oh, that doesn't seem very good. Let's get it anyway. Uh, is... Can we upgrade the L? No. I guess we upgrade the plus plus. It's very expensive, but I've done it. Exploding remains is good. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that. Um, you don't... You, I wasn't... I want to say I wasn't taught. I wasn't taught at school. Uh, or, or by sort of... I want to say by anyone I don't respect, but I, I kind of feel like that's the truth. You don't necessarily respect your parents, right? And that's because they're always bloody well telling you what to do, and they're mean and they're controlling, and, you know, when you're always living with somebody and they are constantly telling you how to behave, um, that can get a little bit overbearing, yeah? So, I, I have to imagine that many people 
could not be said to respect their parents when they are you know, younger. Which is, I'm not, uh, not to pass any judgment, you know, that, that's okay. <laughs> I'm not expecting you to have done so, and I'm not expecting you to have not done so either. Is this better, do you think? I don't think it is because it's purple. Let's, um, let's just sell it. This powerful grenade has done us really well, actually. So, the people that you respect are usually just your friends. Have you got a... Okay, let's try it. No, you haven't because you're one of those. Why are you hit? I do not appreciate you being hit. That was so easy. I love this trail of flames. I mean, I don't care what it is. Damage and dodging. Okay. A little bit safer against projectiles, but it's not that important. Uh, usually it's your peers. And sometimes maybe some of your teachers, if you have good teachers, uh, can be someone you respect as well. But I'm going to guess, by and large, most people respect their friends more than anybody else. Wow! One shot from that is amazing. I'm going to go up there and sell that. I don't like that sword. So I was never really taught um, about keeping in mind other people's... Not necessary specific problems, but general problems. Salute. Because I, I feel like I was brought up in an era where caring about people's like, maybe you're talking about a chronic health issue or something like that. Caring about these things is not cool. <laughs> okay, that's simply the long and the short of it. Um, I, I was never told to care. And I confess that I was brought up thinking that Problems like depression were just people being whiners, right? And to some extent, I can't get out of that mindset, and it's not fair because I myself suffer from depression. Not the not the crippling life-ending kind that you hear about, but a kind nevertheless. It is a form of disease, and it's so easy to just dismiss these people as try being happy, right? Um, this is what I mean by self-improvement. Thank you for that bomb exploding, actually. That was extremely helpful. Is to recognize that there are things that you're doing that are not very healthy, either to yourself or to other people. And stop it. Just stop doing it. I'm gonna go uh, balls deep on green. Why have I got three purple? I've got two things that are giving me purple right now, which is actually nice. Because it does increase your HP, for one. Um, but it also just increases anything that might... Honestly, actually, that's probably the only thing. I don't have any um, purple anything to improve. I don't really intend to. I didn't realize that there was nowhere else to go or I would have just teleported. So, my mistake. Yeah, I got it right. <laughs> Always have to be silent for the uh, for the for the for the platform jump because you know, oh did not realise that I had actually killed something with that particular stomp. Get out of here! This is the uh, this is the time to start recognising that it is possible to be good at this game. Where are you? Okay. No, nope, not there. Do this one. There you go. And we go. Excuse me. There we go. That's 30. Doing okay. Doing okay. So, so, yeah, I'm trying to be more aware of my rolling conversations. I mean, it comes back to this again, which is why I was thinking about it. Um, my rolling conversation is not always to zone out, but I, it's not just the depression. Apparently, there's a chance of some sort of ADD sort of thing going on. Uh, and many people suck at conversations anyway because they don't listen to the other person. But I just don't even necessarily know there's a conversation happening. That's how bad it can get. I mean, you are not tempting because I can't imagine there's anything in there that I care about, quite honestly. Um, I've got a really good couple of weapons going on here. Decent amount of um, ups on the scrolls old front there, and 
This uh, cursor keeps selecting the correct one, but I'm still going to try and make it go away. Hey, what's Jen saying? Maybe. She says maybe to uh, a message that I sent a while ago. You have to check in case she's dying. <laughs> I mean, that's another thing. I don't really tend to give myself enough time. Like, I've given a lot of time to myself specifically today because... Yikes. She's not here. And I know I need to get a lot of recording done. That was good. That was actually pretty good. That was correct. That was also correct. Anything over there? No. <laughs> Just things to break when I send the fire that way. These are great, fine, etc. But I'm perfectly happy with what we've got. So don't worry about it. Don't worry about me. I'm okay. Don't need your charity. I hate that they keep giving me these uh, jumping puzzles when I'm... I've, I think I've actually taken no damage on this entire level right now, so... Don't jinx it, but here we go. Nice! I just needed to get the timing on that. I held my breath. And I, I just couldn't... <laughs> I really needed them to sort of not be mean to me for a while. That's alright. Do I want to even go over here? Oh, really? <laughs> oh. I didn't want to jump in case I hit the spikes, but I nearly came a cropper of the... Uh... Yikes! That's a bit much. I'm <laughs> not a fan of that. Just run away. That um, little biter thing, it didn't aggro me for some reason, so I'm pretty happy with that. And... Come on, 44. My heart is slowly creeping up from where it's supposed to be to just lodge itself in my throat and have a nice day, you know? Nah. <laughs> Not on my watch, sunshine. The fire will do it. The fire will do it. I don't care. The fire did not do it. Good. That was bad timing. Where's my... I'm letting go on the ding, but you're not letting me ding. Have this. There we go. 48. <laughs> it's inconceivable that I get 60 on this level. Nice. But I'm certainly going to give it a bloody good go. Uh, I'm not going that way because I don't trust myself with that bat. So what I'm going to do is grip onto this. And hide a whole bunch. <laughs> I mean, this is the correct way to do it in my book. If things get tough, tough give up, you know? Yikes! Whew, get out of there! Just grab onto the wall. <laughs> That's the correct way of resolving this conflict. Hide on the wall. I was really worried about that bat, and I think I was right to be, because it certainly came a cropper of... Uh, I, oh, I was going to say... I think I've already said, and I'm going to say it again. I'm so grateful for the fire that comes out of this uh, bow here. Because it means I can just take on these losers. Right, if I can kill these two with one hit, then I've done it and I don't have to worry anymore. So I'm waiting for my grenade. Taking my moment. And I'm chucking it. Yes, he's done it. What a legend. And he immediately gets hit. But I knew it was going to happen because one of them was one of those ones that I always get hit by. It's okay, I did it. I got to 60. I saw it happen. You cannot take that away from me, game. Absolutely no way. The only thing you can do to me now is just murder me. Which I am fully expecting to happen through some situation that I have no control over. As per freaking usual. I'm reasonably sure there's nothing left in this. That's correct. Get out of here. You go away. 
You're getting these zaps following my uh, arrows. And I genuinely have no idea what they mean. Does it mean that that's a... Cr <sighs> Damage to a burning target. I'm going to say no. You'll never see this happen in all the rest of your time watching this series with me playing this game. Yikes. <laughs> You'll never see me pass up an assassin's dagger ever again. But here it is. This is the one. I'm sure I passed it before, actually. No, I'm pretty sure I said the exact same thing last time as well. But I just don't want you to think I'm going to make a habit of it. Because I ain't. This is a one-time only thing, except for maybe next time as well. That was good. I like that. Thank you for this. So, I think what I'm saying is, I very much condone the idea that you ain't so great yourself. Just give some time to other people's problems, you know? Even if you're not interested in that person, even if you don't care. You know, that person is eventually going to go away and stop talking. I find myself in conversations just zoning out so very much because people talk too much. That was one of the other pieces of advice is talk less. <laughs> you know, say, say what you need to say, but then s stop saying. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that because I'm going to get stuck again and have to abandon the run. I assume this is another opportunity for that same area, but again, let's not um, let's not get stuck down there. I don't know if they've updated it, and I'm not prepared to find out on a run when I'm doing well. And I think the fact of the matter is, if I find one, it's probably a run I'm doing well. Let's fight this loser, who I hate. This is fine. This is a good opportunity, because we don't tend to get this far. And just look at that door open in front of me right now. This is unbelievable. Bow and endless quiver. Golden amulet or a barnacle. Versus. I mean, it's got strength on it. Less damage in general. Same as the other one. Flammable oil. Get gold as well as a cell. This one's way less damage. And honestly, I think I might need that for the next level. Um, so probably not this. Um, Bone Endless Quiver 4 plus compared to this, which is a huge amount of DPS if you get the crits going on. Last shot is a coup critique, which I don't know which one the last one is, but I think it's the third or fourth. Shots pierce, launches a grenade. None of these is good enough. I'm going to take this and put away the center's grenade because I'm getting to the point where I want to actually win rather than the point where I want to win with something because we've still got these unlocks to make. We can unlock alienation. Boom. We can make a whole bunch of uh, progress on towards masochist. And then in the next episode, if we end up with something we don't particularly like... Wow. That's expensive. Um, meh. 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 This is an old one, actually. We should probably upgrade this. Victim's burn. Fair enough. We can put one cell into something and, and do that old trick again where we, we like doing that. Um, successful parries. Parry. Parry. So we've got four parry options. <laughs> we're probably going to want to start playing with shields again at some point. Um, let's take this one because we know that there's going to be an opportunity on the next level. Did I not take any damage in that entire level? Unbelievable. No, I did take damage. Just at the point when I got 60. I remember doing it, but at the same time... I essentially took no damage. The only damage I took was damage that I was expecting to take, um, which is probably no good because it kind of meant that I was... I feel like my person's not moving correctly. Stop not moving correctly, person. So I think I've kicked myself out as best as I can for this particular situation. But I don't know. I want to hit two of them at once, but they're not popping up two at once. Nice. Perfect. That's what we want you to do. Do that more often. There we go. Get out of the way. No running at me. Wow. Wait, I took damage. 
Do they count as kills? Did you see that? Did you see that actual roll dog? This might be a decent... Oh, stay. This might be a decent... Um, decent build, is what I'm trying to say. I just don't remember any words at all that I've learned in all my years at school. Not so great here. Oh, I didn't quite roll past it. I did intend to. I saw you go that time, so... This is actually probably the hardest round because there's so many of them, you can't coach them into all jumping up at once. Yeah, nice try, sunshine. There's two of them, but where are they? But we're not two of them. Ow. Come on, mate. Get your... Uh... Nice! Don't have to use the stabby if there's only one of them. You can use the, the shooting. Genuinely thought I'd actually dodge that. But I'm a bit disappointed. What's that, though? Have this. There's not enough shooting going on. Also, you're shooting the uh, ceiling there, which is not part of the plan. Apparently. Doing pretty okay, I think. And avoid any more of these attacks, that would be grand. Let's just do this. Seems like a good idea. Oops. Hello? Let's use a balloon. There we go. I'd rather use the balloon for that than the... Uh... You son of a gun. I was 100% expecting to be able to roll that. But he shot me just after I was... Just at the point where I was in my roll cooldown. Don't know how to. Still, no one has ever told me how to beat this phase. Maybe just take the damage. Deal with it. Stop being a little whiner. Help! <laughs> not correct. This is not how you do that. Come on then! Oh, bite your legs off! Four of them. No! You can't just start one over there and expect me to be able to dodge it. Hey, that was a waste. All the fire. Yes, keep shooting arrows. Even if they miss, there's fire. It's better, it's better. Keep successfully dodging them like that. That is exactly what we want. So successfully. Another heal. I don't care. Perfect. Get this up. Yeah, I saw that coming. In your face, loser. Nice. Don't you dare attack me straight away. Ha ha ha. There. I think I'm doing better against those in particular, you know? Uh, because of how that felt good. That was really bad timing. Here you go. Please. Take more damage from my attacks. I just don't have time for your nonsense. You've lost, okay? Just accept it. There's got to be a place to stand. Interrupt. No! No! Help, help. At least I've not got a weapon that just damage, damages me on the enemy's behalf. Without telling me. Just, just, just finish it. <laughs> I accidentally pressed the grenade button. But you don't know that, so you don't have to... You don't have to... You don't have to know about that. Um, I was trying to... Ooh, speaking of which. I was honestly trying to... Um, do I want this? Yes. Uh, roll past it. Recovery. But I failed to. Jen is talking to me. Let's see what she says. 
I take a detour to bath the sushi on my way home. Sure. You take sushi. I will have dal. Graveyard. We haven't been to the graveyard enough. We've been slumbering sanctuary far too much. We, we got past that, and I'm actually pleasantly surprised with myself. They went for fish and chips, and then realized they were too tired. Uh, let, me, let me type back. Yes, that it seems like normal. Old being a grown up. So we're going to go out to the pub, etc. Get some food and go to the pub. Sushi sounds good, but how will you pick me up? Colon P. Uh, D A E. Don't bash that. D A E. Not use modern smiley faces. Emoji. I think they're called. Me personally, I do not let chat program to replace my colon p with the often hideous emoji representation bring some back for me is that an option this is professional is that even an option oh i suppose you mean on monday anyway it might get warm it's quite far this is the, not the correct use of a comma. That should have been a semicolon. Or a full stop. I'm very happy with this grenade. And uh, I meant to say this both, but I am also very happy with this grenade. What are you doing there? Uh, this bow has been so good for me that I have no intention of replacing it unless something extremely much better comes along. Nor do I have any intention of body slamming. Okay. Because it is basically... Uh, I'm so excited, my voice has forgot. I've regressed um, to pretty pubescent voice. Because that is how good this grenade is. This bow! <laughs> bow grenade. Because I don't have to wait for it, which means I can... Basically just... Ooh, nice, but no. Not nice enough. Is that literally just going to take me up there? No. I'm surprised by that as well, to be honest with you. Yes, I did mean to use that grenade. That, I did not know was going to happen. Which is why I did not try to prevent it. <laughs> In case you were wondering, the thingy that was shooting me over there got a uh, shot in on me whilst I was smashing down. So I didn't know that it... I thought I was essentially invincible because I was doing the smash. Basically because my... Uh, I don't get any... I should probably use that, yeah. I don't get any um, contact damage from the things at the bottom, right? But I don't know if that's true, because you don't get contact damage anyway. You, you only get contact damage from the attack that the enemy is about to do, not from the enemy itself. Please. <laughs> my, my skills. They are not up to your standards. There you are. Oh. Please explode it. Thank you. Very good. Well done. I will just do this. Didn't mean to do that. Meant to do that. Some of the things I've not meant to do have worked out for me, but not necessarily all of them. You can't just rely on dumb luck getting you through. Uh, although I do. So there is that. 15,000 gold. If that's what you want to call it. Nothing I've picked up is made of gold. <laughs> and yet. Uh, put it in the cool bag. Mmm. Mmm. Ah. But the cool bag will not be cold because the cold things in it will be water again. Also. Alex. She says Bath is not on her way to Alex's. Bath only has to be on your 
way back from Alex and not on um, your way to. It's a long way to go. Seems like a long way though. Because that's basically the drive to. Hey, what was the place you traverven? Minus half an hour or so. Not sure Jen should be driving from basically the furthest point in the country back to the central most point in the country because it's probably about a seven hour drive. Um, all to do on one day or to sleep in the car. No! Die. I appreciate this that I can just sort of... Please be careful. This is uh, not working out too well because these things are difficult to beat when they're not in a row. My war spear is certainly showing its um, rough edges. I'm not sure I necessarily want to keep it too much. Because I'm not getting too many opportunities to uh, hit more than one thing at once, basically. Which is a problem, because I need to. Brutality or tactics? Uh, no contesto. Uh, I have no idea what she means. Now. So here's another one of those conversations. Like, I don't know what I said that made her confused. And sometimes that happens in real life. I'll be honest, the nice thing about a, um, a text conversation is that you can read it and understand what it is that you said wrong or which one of you is confused by the other one. Uh, it, it does tend to turn a little bit into, um, you know, not, not he said, she said, that's the wrong term, but like um, when you, one of you has to have been wrong. I mean, neither of you has to have been wrong, I guess. Architect's key. Up here. I don't know, but what have I. Hello? Hmm. Let me down. I'm trying not to uh, accidentally stamp on the spikes or something. Where is Architect's key? Someone, will someone tell me where that is? Because I'm expecting that may involve me. Uh... Oh, why? He wasn't jumping enough. <laughs> I'm hammering the A key, the A button, like it is literally brought shame upon my family for generations and it is of no value oh that was just stupid I was looking at the map okay so if I've got two of them in a row that's grand if I've got time to aim at it that's also grand but if neither of those is true you see yeah I have this okay also works. Um, also, they're a little bit... The, all the attacks are a bit slow, basically. So I really have to make sure that I'm ahead of the... Oh, oh don't want to be here. Let me out. Uh, make sure I'm up ahead of before it actually wants to attack me, which in some cases is proven to be rather difficult. Not necessarily the most uh, prudent of life choices here. I do appreciate that they take damage from ground-based attacks, though. What? Had I but known, let us return immediately. We need to get out of here. I know there's a, a teleporter, but I would rather walk, because... <laughs> I don't know. I was going to say maybe the teleporter is worse than the uh, animal head. Worse than the going back. Someone's left a cow here. Whoever it was is bitten. Carefully trace the king's coat of arms on the animal's forehead. What is happening in this world? <laughs> See, you can't run past things, and I've been under the impression that you can. But in many cases, you cannot. So do not be fooled. Thank you for Architect's Key. I mean, that seemed obvious. 
and button. Let me out. Please let me out instead of just trapping me in here like you did that other time. Greatly upset me and caused me to flip tables. Um. um no, but I guess you could freeze the blocks again in Alex's axles. Alex's freezer. So we've picked up two blueprints and now we're going to die. Is that how this works? Thank you for being water under there. Let's see if we can actually get out of here without stepping on the spikes. I can. <laughs> and this is how. Yikes. As long as you've got the... Um... I like the war spear because the first attack takes a little bit of time, but after that, you get some momentum with it. Uh, no. I would like to make it out of this level, and this is looking likely because I'm really appreciating these um, survival mutations that are letting me just essentially heal endlessly and for free. So let's just be a little bit more careful than we have been because I've been doing that thing again where, <laughs> um, where you uh, don't quite pay enough attention to the world around you. you go a little bit too fast, basically. This is not helping. That's helping. And then throw this, and then everything dies. Perfect. Is there a smashy? I'm not going to smash down there, though, because I see spikes, so this is a trap. Oh, well, it's not quite a trap. Nice. Getting better at the jumping. I think I've. Uh, I think one thing ranting does do. <laughs> it's gonna. Well, here it comes. It's justifying ranting every single time. Oh, la di da, blah blah blah. Yeah. I think one thing that ranting does do is cementing your brain. Um, the problems that you were having when you decided to start ranting. Does that make sense? Like, I. I don't rant because I think anything is going to change. Clearly. So, why do it? Well, first of all, I like it when people rant at the end of a video, and it's, it's a little bit more entertaining. Nice. Uh, no, I didn't know you were there. It's not fair. You're not allowed to do that. I actually, in that case, didn't realise it was in a misty area. So, I'm not sure if that was my bad or not. I am here. Why? <laughs> How did I do that? Did I roll through that wall? Probably. Um, and what, one of the other TEDx talks I watched today was about humour. Um, and how you, obviously you can learn it, but you can learn to use it. And it has untold benefits, like countless benefits. For many, many reasons. Psychological, things like that. But uh, one of which is learning. And I don't know about you, but I wonder if ranting is actually a form of humour. It's, it's a very, very British form of humour, if it is. But I, I could see an argument for why it might be. Um, kind of depending... <laughs> it's only humour if you're British. Does that make sense? I'm going to go with survival, because everything is benefiting from it right now. Except for those two... Um, ooh! We have made it out. Do I dare do this? We've made it out. Let's just leave. Take the win, you know. Just quit while you're ahead, I guess is what they tell you. Humor's really good. And if if you are British, then maybe you might consider ranting to be a form of humor. Because lots of British humor is kind of based on ranting. Wow, I've got a lot of things. Time available to recover your health after a hit is multiplied by two. That looks good. I like that. Causes a bomb to appear when you kill an enemy with a non-melee attack. No, not interesting. The merchants will offer a wider range of categories. That's 300, but we've, we've got it now. I'm going to go for this. I also like this velocity idea. Um, Run speed multiplied by 3. And yet they're going to continue to push it so that the, the viewport goes ahead of me instead of behind. Which one is the Forgotten Sepulchre? The, my computer is hurting me, so I'm just going to push it away. It's the way I sit because my computer... You need at least a bit of a, a knee gap. Oh, okay. Between your... Uh... This could kill us, by the way. I've made some mistakes on this before, so... I'm not trying to sandbag. I'm just trying to, like, make you aware that 
I've done this wrong before, and there's a good chance I'll do it wrong again. Uh, can I have that cell? Do I want to be down here? The weird thing about this floor is that you can find things that you might think are optional, and it turns out they are 100% completely necessary. <laughs> Uh, do I want swap? No, and I'm scared, so I'm gonna just leave. Um, I didn't have time to sell it, unfortunately, and I didn't want to accidentally sell the kebab because I might end up needing that. I appreciate these things. I'm now appreciating things that come back and, and chase you around the map. I think I know I was very much complaining about the. Uh, I want to go that way, but I just wanted to get the, the light. Very much complaining about the golems, which is one thing, but I I find that the difference between the golem, I'm not jumping to get that, okay? That is clearly a trick and a trap, and I'm not going to fall for it. Um, the golems pull you back, whereas these things teleport towards you, and I've had a lot more experience with things that teleport towards you, but also I do generally find that they're a little bit easier to... Uh, run away from in general, right? So you can you can tend to corral multiple things that are That was awful that are um, I don't know what to do. I can't see <laughs> You can tend to corral multiple things that are attacking you. I, I might have to go that way, but I really don't want to <laughs> um, By chasing you, but you can't corral multiple things that keep pulling you back And that's a significant difference in my opinion Small bag. I contain various items of no interest. Oh, there's a letter folded up in the bottom. I realise the risk I'm taking by writing this letter. The king's methods are getting us nowhere in the situation deteriorating. We have to switch a more peaceful method immediately. I've spoken with the alchem. The letter ends abruptly. As if a thousand voices screamed out in in pain and then were silenced. Suddenly silent. Uh, there's no goodies here, so why? We have to go the way that I don't want to go. Um, mostly because I can't see whilst we're doing it. I think what we're going to have to just do is uh, suck it up and stop being a wuss. So... We've managed it. Get me to the light. <laughs> Never give me that puzzle again. And we will have a wonderful relationship game. Uh, but until you agree to these terms, <laughs> I'm afraid that our business relationship is going to be very sorely tried indeed that's pretty good but it's purple i'm not interested stop insulting me with your shoddy wares yes insulted i am outraged by this this slight against my person you are a, a charlatan and a cur and a cad i wanted the um <clears throat> pardon me i think my voice is not used to this much use I don't tend to do more than a couple of uh, recordings in the day, you see. <coughs> so I've been doing it all day because it's a Saturday and Jen's not here as... Uh, I've been going on about ad nauseum. What was that? Will you stop? Okay, good. <laughs> that was very frustrating. You bastard. Uh, I'm going to not use my flask and honestly, I think this is good. Good news bears. Because... Uh, give me light. Give me light. Q. Whoa, whoa. I think the fire got it. I was so scared. Did you hear it in my voice? This one I went, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I was just part of me being scared. Don't worry about it. It is. There was a uh, light here all along. Yeah, explode. Try it. Nice. Tea mill. Tea mill. She sent me a link to Tea Mill, which I'm guessing is a t-shirt website. I thought it said Teen Mill, and I was like, is that like a puppy mill for teenagers? What is happening? Ow. Just as I find HP, you have to do me sturdy like this. Thank you for the permanent light, even though there is a temporary light next to it, which seems a little bit... What was I saying? I don't know, but it's probably very astute. 
talking about TED Talks. Which one was I on? Humor. Because ranting, ranting is a, that's right, ranting is a form of humor if you're British, or at least if you're me. Um, I think this is because a lot of media that I have previously consumed uh, has been of the ilk whereby... <clears throat> we want to go down there, I think. I'm not too interested in going up past that spinny majigger, so let's not bother. Um, it's like David Mitchell, for example. He's a very good comedy ranter. And, and I respect that, <laughs> believe it or not. Um, I don't know why. Don't try and analyze me or anything. I don't need your psycho, pseudo psychological, you know, pop science. This person rants because it's repressed feelings about uh, an unhappy childhood. My childhood was fine. My parents, who are probably not watching, but I'm going to say it anyway, probably did a perfectly good job. Depression notwithstanding, that's not their fault. You know, that's just a. Uh, well, there's probably many reasons why that came about, but uh, I can think of one big one that we're not going to go into right now. Um, <laughs> we... It was fun. I'm not troubled <laughs> by anything like that. I just like it when people are right really, really loudly. I think that's another thing that you can probably work on when you're coming to self improvement I uh, say you. I don't know who's watching, but everybody who's watching... No, there's no exceptions to this rule. Everyone can improve themselves. I see that. Why are these chains so long? Why don't you just give me platforms to jump up? Oh, I want to get in there. Let me in there. Is it like a... Where did the sound go? Did that happen on my headphones or was that in the game? I apologise if you heard the sound go away. Don't know what caused it. So I only apologise a little bit because I wasn't in control. Ranting is good times, and it's it's a cathartic relief. But you don't want to overdo it, and I think I'm, I believe this, even though I, you know, don't tend to follow it. Um, there comes a point where it's not funny anymore, as with many things. I think I took damage. I didn't take damage. Uh, as with many things, there comes a point where it's not actually funny. You've just gone too far with it. So. Try not to get that far when you do it. But until then, it's not just necessarily... Oh, why? I wasn't necessarily considering maybe I could do 60 without getting hit, but I was doing pretty well, okay? Um, the catharsis of the rant is not to be sniffed at, for sure, but I don't know if you necessarily need to... Uh, Chase it down. Don't, don't go searching for it, I guess. Yikes. Come on, then. Oh, that one, didn't I? We're doing fine, in case you're wondering. Uh, with, with our um, mutations, I'm understanding the survival build, but I think I said this a while ago, and, you know, I hate to say I told you so. But... Um, I told you so. If I did say what I think I said, then what's actually happening here is we've unlocked enough things that I can still play my way, mostly, and put points into uh, mutations and, and skills that actually help, <laughs> rather than the ones that sort of make you strong and then dead. Is any of this worth buying? Nearly is worth buying just because I don't have to get the crit. I think it's quite a slow fire, though. I'm really enjoying these shots. You know what? We've got a lot of money. It's only a uh, seven. Really bad. <laughs> Ooh. I'm okay. Let's... Don't mess with it, it's working. I saw our uh, newly unlocked sword there as well, so that's nice to know. It has silenced, yeah, it's gone quiet. Right, that, that is the game. It's pretty sure it's simply broken. Open with crypt key. Clock room. We could. We could go and fight the clock, my dude. 
right now. Let's do that because this is one basically thoroughly explored floor. Humor is good for learning. And if you can harness it and you're in a learning environment, I mean, I'm sure Jen tries this as well. I don't know how good she is at it, actually, because I don't pay that much attention. Mostly because if I pay attention, I start butting in and interjecting, which is not something that we want. Um, but, sure, sure, um, oh, what else have we got? Let's see what we got. I just want to double check this. Let's have a look. Trail of flames. Remains explode. Burn, burn. I think I had a poison thing going on. Not in, not anymore. <laughs> now I want that other... Um, I didn't use it at all. That's really good. Now I want the other um, the amulet back because I've got past the stage where I knew that I would need this amulet. But uh, it's, it's fine. It's working out. This, again, could kill us, but all the things that have killed us so far by making silly mistakes haven't. This is just going to be a case of uh, dodge things, right? Put that at one end, because then when the loser... Oh, you got me. Decides to uh, stand at one end and attack me, he'll be in range of that. Can I just duck here? Is that going to work? No. Use everything that you've got at your disposal right now. I think in that situation you have to get behind him. I hadn't considered that actually. He's going to him. Every time this guy's like, let's finish this, and I'm like, okay, we finished, now what? And then he's like, it hurts. And then he runs away instead of. Yeah, that was fine. I don't know why I thought that I was going to have trouble there. This bow is amazing. He's that soft and, and we unlock something else. What have we got this time? Double crossbow matic, ice bow. We've been acquired tainted flask, nice. Why wouldn't you pick these up? The ice bow five and the double crossbow matic five, they're both purple weapons. And I'm not into it, <laughs> quite honestly. Um, that is probably, that's the first time in quite a while that we've had to use any of our um, healing. In fact, we have to use healing on bosses because bosses aren't spawning minions. Sufficiently that we, um, that we, we don't. Yeah, I'm going to put all these in here because we don't get to see this chat very often. Uh, so that we, we can. Tainted flask, what is this? Using a health person as DPS for 12 seconds. That's amazing. Uh, not that amazing because I do know that if we use boss cells, if we ever blink and get one, you don't get to use the, the health flask that often. So, uh, I don't know. Um, Bosses don't spawn minions and kills are what heal us, so we're bound to have to use like a manual heal when there's no kills to be made. That was brilliant. <laughs> One shot from this bow is enough for most things in this level, which is great because it's a survival build bow. You know, bows tend to force you... Uh, previously, bows would force you down the tactics path, which I think is okay. Uh, also, I need a little, um, you know, cliffs notes about which colour... Yeah, these jokers did me dirty last time, so I'm not going to do that. I need cliffs notes about which colour is the... Um, is which elite, because... I'm not into those elites. Not without... Uh, not without freezing. I'm not even going to consider a different loadout this time, unless it's an extremely amazing version of my favourite weapon. Even that, because we haven't built for it. No, our survival build is what is winning us the run right now. This desk was ransacked. Someone wrote in the diary over the notes of the quote-unquote alchemist as he called himself, why do you continue our experiments, you poor fool? We have to stand together in the face of adversity. We have to isolate healthy people from those affected by the malaise. Long live the king. So the king um, is... Uh, 
All right, let's uh, wax a little bit lyrical here. The king is not actually all that bad. But... I'm go let's go with the benefit of the doubt situation. The king's not that bad. But... I've got a lot of those today, by the way. That's really cool. Um, the malaise is what is afflicting everything that we're fighting. It's some sort of disease which is sending people loopy on top of that we've got the actual guard trying to reduce instances of the malaise by putting down those who are afflicted by it so it's not working out too well <laughs> and then we've got us who's a weird green blob I'm wondering if the us that we're fighting as is actually uh, one of the things that we have seen in the sewers. It would make some sense. Uh, I forgot you could do that, so I'm glad I wasn't there for it. Right, what do you... Pretty decent. I'm okay with this. That's 2,000 damage per hit, by the way. And without even a ton of um, health in... A ton of points in... Damage. Which, I mean... I call brutality damage the same thing, but probably not true. See, these ones are going to be a lot easier. We only need two keys. And I didn't want to fight the two um, ninja thingies. Because those things can really screw up your day when you're trying to use this absolutely outstanding range build because they keep teleporting to you as discussed uh, I'm gonna beat this guy up rather than no 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 that was terrible I did not know you could do that or I would have just gone down there in the first place you know Stomp this dude, loser. Nice. Probably could have used the ground to deal with that, but I don't have to. You know, I think we're going to get enough kills so we don't need to worry too much about um, health. Which is what I was saying before, you know. The, the survival build is really good, but <laughs> you can't rely on it. If you can get all survival like I have here... It essentially quits in. I mean, it's much better that way. Something hit me, but I don't know what it was. Especially if you can get the timing on this correct. Because that's really the um, crux of this run now, is just getting this timing right. That was not good. Yeah, have this. <laughs> up here um but i i think it also speaks to the uh the the imbalance of the game in general moonflower key what i saw that but i couldn't figure out how to get to it i wouldn't mind some pointers and i'm half tempted to google it if anyone fancies telling me just straight up um i have become aware that certain things need doing and that is one of them. So, some pointers slash hints slash tips on how to uh, do that would be grand. You know, how to find all these extra keys. I know there's a third one, so can we please have it? So I don't have to just guess. Follow. <laughs> I'm, uh... Trying my best to remove myself from situations I could come off worse in. Ooh. I do not know how I managed that. What? <laughs> I have never seen myself do such things. No! How dare you? Have this. Have it, you! Okay, fine. 
Yeah, just come this way. <laughs> I'm not interested in you anymore. Let us play this. Ed is playing Kenshi. Ed, welcome home. Nice. There we go. So I wanted to get that one off the screen. The fact that it cost me HP is disappointing, but not the end of the world. Let's see what this holds. Another shield. Oh, that might have been a mistake. We do have, we don't have a shield, we don't have a parry build, but we do have a survival build. Stop. <laughs> Let me go. Bismillah. It's nice, but this is the wrong build for it. Nothing there. This way. Wallop. That thing is extremely powerful. We should make sure we use it as much as we can on the Hand of the King. Which I'm very confident that we're going to get to. But I'm not very... It's exactly the same. So a 4++ plus plus is a 8. Interesting. That's really cool. I don't want the Impaler. I'm happy with my full survival build, which is insane. I've never had 10,000 HP before. Even though I have heard that that's what you want. <laughs> Ow! Okay. I so much appreciate the fire on this weapon. You cannot... I cannot overstate the, uh, the value of having this fire here. Because it means that if anything doesn't quite get finished off... Uh, I can do it anyway. No! Fuck off! <laughs> Pardon my French, but that was bullshit. Didn't even need to be here. <laughs> I don't think I could have got out of that. That's another one of those things where it's like, it's pulling you back, and I... I'm not into it, my dudes. So I think we should be okay to fight this elite. Because if I don't fight this elite, I have to fight the one that I really don't want to fight. What was that? Why? Why? Stop! Not what I wanted. That all went a little bit wrong. I'm going to use my flask because I haven't and there's no point dying. There's no point letting this run beat you. I'm supposed to beat it. That's why it's called a run and I'm the player. I think I'm okay fighting this, but I'm kind of, kind of reluctant because it can do some damage. If you get it wrong, you know? But I'm not going to get it wrong, because that thing's going to ice it. That's the icing on the cake. That's the hit of the whole fruit. You know when you've been tangoed. And let's get out of here. We, we know the way. We just need to open the thingy. We have made it to the hand of the king. No question. There is nothing, to my knowledge, famous last words, that can kill us on the way. We will get this teleporter, we will go to the throne room, and we will leave, and we will do our level best to beat this, we this weapon, this enemy. If we don't do it, we don't do it. We've made it this far. We've made it this far. Not gonna happen. <laughs> never, never gonna be a thing. We've got 42 cells to pump into, let's have this. We might reconsider our mutations. I don't want that. Because one thing we don't do, ever, for some reason... Oh, I forgot, of course, I could upgrade that to a 8+, plus, but... I like this. This is fine. Let's not do it. Um, let's have a look at this and consider it properly. Recovery... Might be good. Let's look at the the survival ones. This is parry, parry, not parry, parry, parry. So this is the only one we want from that set, but maybe we can get these ones. Extra ammo. I'm gonna leave it <laughs> because the other ones are so parry-centric. 
because we've got a really, really strong survival build, I was thinking maybe we can take some different survival focused um, mutations. But I don't think we can. There's the kick now. So let's get this down. The thing is here, I have no idea what this dude's patterns are, right? That hurts. That hurts me a lot. This is why you need parry, you see. Right, I've got that down. I understand that. Fire's really helping here, by the way. Don't like that. You can dodge that. Help. Okay. Phase one done. I don't think I'm going to make it through this, but I'm certainly going to try. The wall spear could be decent. What are you? <laughs> This is an elite version of an enemy I fought a long time ago. Whatever. Ow. Didn't expect that. Don't expect any of this, to be fair, so... Give me some slack. These explode. Get out of the way. Why can you reach across the entire map to hurt me? Seems unfair, if I'm being honest. Get out of here, get out of here. No! Oh, you can destroy them just by pressing RB, that's interesting. X. Oh, you have to hit, I see. We can get some damage back, some HP back. If we get it right, but I don't know how to do it. It's not going to happen. No, no, no. No! <laughs> this fight has no place. This, this fight is easier than the fight against the golems. I mean that sincerely. I don't know how to do it I don't have the patterns down quite understandably but this fight does not stun lock you and that is my whole reason for believing that it's easier than some of the fights you meet along the way there is room for you to do damage I did a lot of damage to that enemy and I got quite far through it in my opinion so I think I did quite well um, but that is just a matter of trying and trying again the fight against the golems I feel good about do you see the difference that thing owned me but I still feel good about it because I got there and I'm understanding more and more of the patterns and things like that save your grenades or try and <clears throat> use be there with something else um, I like I should not have I really think I should not have uh, replaced that shield when I found it and just sold it willy-nilly uh, a shield and that bow could have been amazing in that fight you know parry the attack Move away, shoot. Parry the attack, move away, shoot. Whack the microphone out of excitement. But I didn't. I didn't do that, but I got it wrong, but I recognise that. In other cases, when I really ran, I don't think I had control. I don't think that I could have done anything about it. So, getting better. Getting a lot better. And I really enjoyed that run for the synergies and the, the fact that everything was green and I could just make the, the run stitch together really well. And I really enjoyed it. So I hope that you enjoyed it too. And I hope that you'll join me in the next episode. But for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you.